I'm Mori. Let's make some fucking deliveries. While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Terrellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know. After all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. How could you? This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the cargo network. I think you have mules to... must have yeah. I guess you're gonna I have steal shit from mules. Either steal or you can fight them. I, th I like to fight them. It's fun. Just smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back. Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Let's go. I'm a delivery boy, not a fi- Alright, whatever, fuck it. Fucking... <laughs> Chiral crystals. Crystals, of course. This is probably just collecting shit. Yeah. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. Never. So watchtower just essentially let you, uh... They essentially let you watch from a tower. You can uh, look over like a distance and see what's up, but I, I don't really find it that necessary to use. You're more than likely going to have someone else that's already made it at some point. Alright. Norman Reedus, out. And this is what you're going to use to collect those hand things that you saw on the ground. Mm. Somehow he reached all the way in the back of his backpack. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. Surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet mm. above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Mm -hmm. Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Thanks, Discount Otacon. <laughs> uh, it's just a sign someone put up just to let you, uh, you know, send you their respect, I guess you could say. Respect for getting this And you actually liked it by touching it, so. Nice. I didn't want to do that. I don't want to seem too friendly to these folks. Yeah, fuck them. Okay. So it is a vehicle you will be able to use, but right now it has no juice and it's also, I think, damage. Um, oh no, it's not too, too damaged, but uh, we'll work towards uh, getting a, an electrical thingy to charge it back up and you can use it whenever you need to. Alright. As long as you don't destroy it, because there won't be another one until the next section. Alright, so where am I going? So you can go over to, the, to that circle over there. This, um, this thingy? No, this thingy. Over here. Okay. So you're going to be going over there to collect something, and then over at the bottom you're going to be stealing the thing from the mules. There's another mule camp further south. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small. It can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use you your own right there. in the right See direction. direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on sensors. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Collect at least one CG. I got 25. Wait, did you already... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I, I beat the mission. Oh, hey, what do you know? You actually did. You don't need to go over there anymore. Oh, oh, okay. It was just suggesting that you go over there to get it, but... Over where? Who said that? That's you. Hmm. What? Or not? Hang on. I said over here, and he said someone replied over where. Um. Oh, uh, so those those signs will uh, actually um, respond back to you. Mm. Um. Oh yeah, it seems like you already have everything, so you don't need to get any more. I think. 
Now I just need to go retrieve that package. Or not. Wait, wait hang on. How much do you need? Uh, look at your orders again, just to be sure. No, I know that I beat the mission. You need to get one CG, and I have a hundred. Oh no. They want a hundred. They want a hundred. You got the minimum. All right, so that's okay. That'll be easy. I just need to collect four of them. Might even be less. Yoink. Nice. Yeah, almost. I got 70. Uh, try going back towards that area before. Yeah. Yeah, there's one right there. I'm not sure, I'm not sure why they tell you to go all the way into a BT territory. You can pick them up easily. Just, just around. Yeah, there's like one to your left right there. Didn't even touch it, but alright. Oh, uh, that's only seven. seven. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, different sizes of them. That should probably finish it off right there. Yep, there, we there go. you go. All done. <clears throat> But I won't hand it in just yet. I wanna go get this mule uh bullshit. I head back towards the terminal and then make a point in. <sighs> oh god, my birds. They hurt. Begin scan. Scan and bridges. Alright, shut up. <laughs> So it shouldn't be too bad. I don't think there's any BTs that are in your way over there. You just have to go and get into the camp and yeah. fuck shit up. Yeah. There's a baby in there. Good work, BB. Is that like a heavy incline? Uh, you could if you touch the uh the pad and then move your uh your controller, you can actually see like the elevation of it. So it is kind of steep, but uh, there's little crevices that you can poke yeah. through. So and someone else went through there too, so you should be fine. Yeah. Done. Plan my route. Sam, clear. Hyrule crystal deliveries are a little different from the usual. The process is pretty simple though. Access the delivery terminal and drop off any Hyrule crystals you're carrying. Shh. Later. <laughs> Weapons restrictions lifted. I'm a little. Hey, you can see that someone else has already been through. Can you? Yeah. The dirt path. Oh. This is someone else's path. Interesting. And each time someone goes through there, it basically makes it easier to walk through. Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box. Steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful. I'm a These guys are armed. Just go sideways. Be ready to fight. Water. Yuck. 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 I think I feel leeches. It's a good thing I'm wearing pants. <laughs> Almost has bad suit. Essentially. Attack a mule to repeatedly to knock them unconscious. Thanks. To kill a mule, you must take its life. Oh boy. So you can probably like go around the side over There's there. There's a ladder over there. Now there's an unspoken rule about these ladders. Anytime you use someone else's ladder, yeah, gotta give them a, a whole bunch of likes. You do that by just repeatedly pressing the uh the the, uh, the touch uh, pad button once you're uh, right next to it. I'm, like da I'm down for culture. Well, then you're an asshole. <laughs> that guy left that ladder for you. He 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 sacrificed one of his ladders for your sins. Cave with some packages in it. Some materials. Minimize noise. 
The time is not fun. So I'm guessing this is the territory. Yep, and I think he might. Does he see you yet? Oh, yeah, he sees you. Doesn't seem to be too happy about it. Get off here! Give me your stuff! Mmm. So when you, like, knock them out like that, you can grab their shit right away. I love, like, hitting people with it. Mm -hmm. It does a lot of damage. It usually knocks them out. Ow. Hey, wiener. That belongs to me. So hold that in uh, on your left hand. Uh-huh. Uh, you have to hold it down to for it to like stand your hand, and then like you can go up to another guy and like deck him with it. Uh -huh. Or you could do that with the PCC too; it doesn't matter. As long as you don't press uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Got Playing it. like a pro. But I destroyed it. Yeah, you destroyed it, but that's fine. Whatever. Yeah. And I think that's everybody in the area. <laughs> nice. No, yeah, their heads are still on. <sighs> That's decapitated, Norman. Oh. <laughs> I know his name is Sam, but I will forever call him Norman. <laughs> Norman Fleetus. No, who can eat us? Eat us, delete us. <laughs> I call this move the eat us, read us. Why does he call it? Oh, that's why he calls it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, a lot of stuff you can steal. I just take all. What do I need? Like this so, stuff? so you need the chiral printer interface. Usually, yeah. uh, it'll like let you know which one you need to take with you. Offload. Okay. And then, if you want to try and take that with you, I'm not sure if you're able to carry it. Might. Yeah, you should. It should be. It should be able to. Uh, you should be able to withstand it. You're just gonna be pretty slow. Yeah. Uh, mule boots. Your boots are better than their boots, but if you ever need to get like an extra pair of boots with you, oh, so yeah. Yeah, I, I, I forget every time. All right. Oh boy. I didn't see yeah. It. Oh god. Oh yeah. Shit. This is what you're gonna have to be dealing with for a while. <laughs> okay. Um. So, I did notice a rope. Um, Where? Uh, look to your right and upward. Well, a little bit more to your left now. Now use your uh, little scanner thingy. It should be on that hill. You see that right there? Oh, this purple thing? Yeah. yeah. Hey! Oh, I was trying to like it. There you go. Thanks for the help. Oh god. Oh, god no. oh yeah, you just make sure like every now and then he like takes a sip from his drink, otherwise he like gets dehydrated and starts complaining. Uh, okay. So for some reason he fills it up with mon uh, monster energy drink. For sponsorships. For, for sponsorship, but he keeps it in his canteen. Now here's what I don't understand. Apparently he has some type of system going on where anytime he either water touches him from rainfall or if he goes through a river, it refills his canteen, but it's not just water. It's just water converted somehow into monster energy drink. Mm -hmm. I don't know what type of energy they have or what type of like technology they use to have that happen, but apparently that's possible. <laughs> At least in this universe. Well, Fine, Redis climb. Fine. Fine. <sighs> Alright, you can let go now. So you could probably uh. use that to climb down.
This is gonna be fun. Well, you should be fine. Yeah, you should be able to walk that just fine. I think you went through the, the, the same, like, hole. Mm. Yeah, you went up there and then you went through the hole that's underneath. <laughs> Um... Alright. I head this way. There's gonna be a lot of these noises in the play- <gasps> It'll be fine. It's fine. Everything's cool. It's a little scuffle, don't worry. It's fine. They'll have to fucking. We'll complain at first, but. They'll learn to appreciate me. I'm trying to figure out, like, which way I want to go. So you could always use, like, a ladder, too, to try and use that as a bridge, maybe. I'm not sure if you could probably do it from here. I'll probably do it from there. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, you, you have to be able to manage like his uh. So it seems like it's going really far down that way. Uh, maybe you should try going up the river a bit more and see if uh. Oh. Well, it's not gonna reach all the way yeah. down there. It's gonna. It's gonna be. Try moving it a little bit more left, maybe. Maybe you can make a little bridge. Oh, wait. Up. No. We're getting there. Hmm. This is a good uh, strategy for keeping balance. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say get closer to this edge. Maybe it'll probably, like, reach. Damn so. Maybe? Try to get a little bit closer. Do you think you can do that, or? Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Yeah. Go! Beautiful! <sighs> I'm not sure... I'm not sure how that's working, actually. Um... Me anyway. It doesn't look like it's touching me, but, uh, you know what? <laughs> it's fine. I made it's, it. It's fine. It works. <sighs> I think I have one up my butt. That's where I have to go, right? Yes. Um, too bad you can't really ride the river down. Do I have, um, a rope? I think you used it before. No. no, you didn't, actually. I don't think you did. So, I probably use a rope for this. Alright, Norman. Now, I think you have 30 meters on your rope, so I'm not sure how far you can go down with that here. Uh, probably ma maybe... It'd probably help, it. though. It would definitely help. Um, yeah, it's on... Yeah. Oh, you have three of them, too, so you can just make another one if you find like another safe place to hitch. I can't hitch, though. Uh, try... Hmm. That's weird. Well, uh, try going a little bit more to your left and maybe trying to hitch there. Maybe like on that. In here. No, it That's like weird. It. It's, it's probably too bumpy. Well, are you ready? I would suggest uh, putting that away and then holding down L2 and R2 just to keep your balance. How do I put it away? Uh, press, uh, the right, or rather just click it and you, it'll just, it'll just put you on the it. So you could, like, pop you basically. So if you just press the right button, it'll just, like, put it away or put it back. Gotcha. 
Alright, well, here we Two go. Up. Here comes Norman. Damn addicts. Jason the river. Oh god. Uh. Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Back all in right. the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles or drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. Here comes Don't Norman like a fucking wrecking ball. <laughs> Look at me. Master postman. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next order. Make sure you're not here. Have you ever seen uh, Mega 64's uh, parody of this? No. <laughs> he basically carries a whole bunch of crap on him. <laughs> and he starts going to different places like McDonald's. He's like, here, I got your, got your resins that you need. <laughs> Special alloys. <laughs> and actually, I think the, uh... I think it's the same McDonald's that they usually do shit at. And, like, the woman that, like, takes... Or rather talks to him about it, he's just like... This is from another video game, isn't it? Shh. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges. I have arrived. Clear. ID. All weapons will remain alive until departure. I'm kind of waiting for you to fall down flat on your face right in front of me. Hey, I got your stuff. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Wacky stuff, bro. Good work, Sam. Thanks. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Uh-huh. Feel free to submit it here for processing. Oh, you don't have to do that. You could just you recycle it for yourself. Out on a run and don't it might be someone else's, but who cares? <laughs> it in storage. It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Yeah, there'll be times in the game where you'll see other people's, like, nice stuff that they left for, every, for other people to take, yeah. and yeah. I'll just be like, I haven't unlocked this yet, but I could take it for myself. Getting it earlier than I'm supposed to. <laughs> <sighs> what did that say? No, it's already it's already in like the complete order thing, so yeah, you don't yeah. need to move it. A lot of this game is like a list. It's just like, alright, do you want to put this under, under this list or under this list? Yeah. Surprising. Never doubted you'd come through for us. Two percent damage. Now that's not that now that's not a lot of damage. Now that's not a lot of damage. Well, I really meandered. I got some boots. Sam. Yeah, you can make boots now. How are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine. Conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridge is standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another by a terminal at one of our many facilities. That's the game's like subtly telling you treat Sam with respect or <laughs> you're gonna see him pull more toenails out of him. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. You know it, bitch. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. New hologram data, macho. So essentially what that is, is like anytime you make a structure, you could customize it eventually and it'll, it gives you like uh, the option of choosing a type of hologram that will greet whoever like approaches it. Okay. And like that's like, that's like one of the many hologram slash an animations for a specific character. Which we got. Oh, 
All right. Oh yeah, baby. So is like ten like the maximum for all of them? So it keeps on growing. So gotcha. it's gonna once it so once one like I guess end of it reaches the it'll end, like increase. It'll like basically change color and starts increasing again. Gotcha. So it'll just keep on overlaying. So mine's like I think blue right now because I've just been doing all this shit. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a Cairo photo. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the Cairo network might, in essence, be a time machine. That's it. It's making data into the past. Suffice it to say that we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely on. What might like in our relationship with it as a primitive man is fine. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I need. You have my word. Good work. And so you could uh, also, you could also um, recycle the other thing that you have on your back. Don't I need to give that to people? Uh, yes. Lost cargo. Uh, no. So you can entrust it essentially to them if you want to. Let's see what happens. And so it, it all it does is give you likes, but you could also just recycle it for yourself so that it like adds to the resources that you have. Mm. But you were being a nice guy about it. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty cool. So now Mikhyov oh, wow. is going to be I like, hey, to, nice. I gave it to Clint Eastwood. Is that true? <laughs> and thanks for returning my medals, boy. You're welcome. Beautiful. Alright. Um... I think, you, I think you can uh, have up to, I think, two uh, boots, like, on your boot clip. Mm. And it so, like, fun. how do I, like, finish this other mission? Uh, I would say go to recycle. All right. And then recycle those. And then just complete it, and then there you go. Oh, okay. Well, now they're destroyed. <laughs> Got some chiral crystals for us? Got that Jesus juice for us? There's only four new places with elevated chirillion levels. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network has something to do with it. <laughs> Damn, son. That is a lot of crystals. Apparently that was from a BT area. So now you can make repair sprays. Cool. Which helps uh, with keeping things uh, and bridges. working. I'm surprised you can't make any energy uh, thingies yet. Excess chiral crystal. Excess chiral crystal. These local oh, stores sorry. include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment, 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 equipment as needed. Nice. He 
People think of you as a porter who can be relied upon for basic orders. But with time and effort, you may be one day be recognized as a true legend. You have achieved delivery volume grade 10. You can now carry more cargo. So yeah, like, see, then it overlaps what you did before. Yeah. And, like, each time you increase that to a new level, it, like, basically a, g g gives you, like, a stat increase or something. So either it could be, like, a stat increase involving, like, maybe your ability to hold more items or your ability to balance. Patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. Alright, I'll take it. Uh, so, you can... So, the, they'll give you stuff like this if you want to. You can take it all into your back, or if you want, you could also save it in, like, their little cargo thing. You don't have to take everything, like, every piece of tool with you, but you can, like, if you want to, you could, like, make a whole bunch of ladders and a whole bunch of container sprays and a whole bunch of this and that yeah, yeah. in your, like, little thing, and then you could save it in, like, uh, the storage unit that's in every, uh, city, and, like, they'll just ha hold it for you until... I'll like, just take it one. Right. Just to get my bearings on. Yeah. See you. There is a correlation Hello, between Monica. elevated Corellia levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry, though. Local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more kind of crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Okay. Well, that's where we're going to end it today. Guys, if you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Hit that bell notification if you want to see when our next episode of Death Stranding comes out. Uh, watch our other series. We've played Doki Doki Literature Club. We've played uh, Hotel Dusk 215. We're currently playing uh, Last Window, The Secret of Kate West. Uh, question of the day. Question of the day. Uh, I didn't prepare one this time. <laughs> uh, question of the day. Um, let me think. Have you ever uh, played in a box? Played in a box? Yeah, like when you get like a really big cardboard box. Have you ever just like... Oh, they played with cardboard boxes, I guess. Yeah. Say. Like, yeah. Just like put it over you and like pretending like you were in a spaceship or some shit. <laughs> or like gotten like a really big tall one and like cut out armholes and like a face hole and like you're a robot, you know? I've done that before. Yeah. Definitely. I also do that with my cat. Whenever I get like new packages, I'll just like mm -hmm. give it to her and she'll just like, fucking destroy it. Well, she'll just she'll she'll just be in her own little world. She'll just jumping into it. Anyway, put that shit in the comments below. I'm bottles. I'm Maury. See you next time. <laughs>